role of a caregiver can be difficult. So joining me now to share some tips for caregivers is Don Neff with Tanager Place. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So to start, what are some examples of a caregiver? So a caregiver is really anyone that has to care for another person, and that could be physically, mentally, emotionally, um, and that can be a very wearing um, position to be in, a, a very exhausting role to be in sometimes. And so when we talk about caring for caregivers, we really want them to make sure they're caring for themselves. And that can look in lots of different ways. Um, it can be making sure they're getting their own sleep, they're asking for help, they're accessing resources, um, making sure they're getting medical and any legal documentation in order so it's easily accessible. Um, and when they are reaching out for help, whether that's from friends, resources, or professionals, um, they're giving specific things to people that they can help with. Yeah, and I know you mentioned being a caregiver can be tough, so what kind of toll can that take, especially over time? Um, one of the biggest things that we can see in people that are caregivers is they themselves start to struggle with some anxiety or depression, and so it's really important for the caregiver or the people around that caregiver to kind of keep an eye on their own just mental and physical um, health because if you're taking care of somebody that has Alzheimer's, for example, um, that's kind of a, an all day, every day. There's no off button to it. And so really making sure that they're paying attention to their own needs and accessing what they need to access when they are starting to notice if they're starting to decline either physically or emotionally. Mm -hmm. What are some of those resources that are available for people? I mean, here in Cedar Rapids, there are tons of different organizations that um, offer lots of professional things. Um, Facebook is also, and just social media, is a really great place to look for different support groups depending on what kind of a caregiver you are. Um, just reaching out to different groups, whether you're a mom or a dad, there's different dad groups, there's different mom groups in the area, and there's tons and tons of resources online. Um, there's a website called caregiver.org that is really spectacular. They have all different types of caregivers you can be, and then they have tons of um, resources and other websites that they can connect you to just off of that one website. Great info. Thank you so much, Don. Yeah. Don Neff with Tanager Place. Stay with TV9.